Do you want to learn that? Well, that's exactly what you're here for. Because I'm going to be teaching you how to do a round off. Now, let's go. Let's go. So the first step on how to do a round off is you need to do some stretches just to get you warmed up a bit. So the first stretch is warming up your arms a bit. So just put your arm like this and just really warm up your arms so you have nice and strong arms to do the round off. Yep. And then do this one. And get on your knees and put your hands like this. This is just to warm up your wrists a bit. Do that for about five seconds. Yes. Okay, then do this. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and now that your arms are warmed up, do this a bit. Alright, now we're, we can move on to the leg stretching. Um, okay, so the first stretch is a lunge. So this is a lunge. Now, it's fine if you just do this, but try and go down as much as you can to really stretch your legs. So, do a lunge on both legs. That was just my left leg. Now the other side. Okay, once you've done the lunges, just maybe do a few kicks to warm your legs up. If you can't do that, then maybe just do a low kick like this. Like this, just keep doing this, just to warm up your legs. But if you're exa advanced, then just do high kicks. And maybe even go into the splits, which I can nearly do. Let's just see. Oh, yeah. Try going into the splits. And then that was the middle splits, but like, um, this way too. Okay. Once you've warmed up all your body parts, oh, also neck, you can do that. Then we can move on to actually how you do it. Now, uh, let's go. All right, so first we're going to start off with doing a cartwheel. So you, you'll need to know how to do a cartwheel for this because if you can't do a cartwheel, then go to my video right here and watch how you do a cartwheel. But once you've watched that and learned how to do a cartwheel, then, then you can come to this video right now on how to do a round off. Okay, so yeah, as I said, you're going to need to do a cartwheel. So we just start off with a nice simple cartwheel and just do it slowly. Do it about five times. Once you've done a few cartwheels, like five times maybe, then you can move on to taking a run-up. So, basically when you do a round-off, you can't just stay on the spot. Well, you can, but for beginners, you really need a run-up so you can actually do the bounce off your legs. So, this is a round-off. So, can you spot the difference between a cartwheel and a round off. So, this is a cartwheel. And this is a round off. Can you spot the difference? Hmm. Well, I'll tell you the difference. You see how when I'm doing a round off, my hands kind of pop off the floor a bit? That's giving my, my body power. So, when I go into it and pop my hands up to the floor and then jump, that makes it a bit round off. So cartwheel is kind of more calmer and easier, but then round off, you really need lots of muscles in your arms and lots, you really need lots of power in your arms. So you just run up and then it's kind of like a cartwheel, but then you spring off your hands at the end and then you should land like this. So like this. And yeah, if you can, then you can just do it on the spot like this. But that's probably not the case if you're learning how to do a round off. You'll probably need a run off. So 
just take a distance and then run up and round up. So, as you see, my hands were popping up. Now, what did you see at the end? Well, did you notice in a cartwheel like this, I didn't put my hands up. But in a round off like this, I put my hands up at the end, right? So the landing of a round off is basically like this. But that's a bit wrong. You need to do a jump at the end. So you, it's okay if you just do this, but try and do a really big jump like this. Because later on, if you can do a back handspring, I can't do a back handspring, but it leads on to your other things that you can do later. Because if you do a really big bounce, then later on, you can jump into that um, back flip if you're doing it. But we're just doing a round off today. I don't even know how to do a back flip. Anyway, so you land like this, which I'm pretty sure is called a rebound at the end. So like this, watch how I spring off my hands and land, land. Okay, let's go. And also notice how my feet, when I'm bouncing, my feet go pointed like this. So don't just do it like this. And my feet weren't pointed, they were just like this. Just do it like this and then yeah. But also, tips, try and keep your legs straight, just like this. Because if they are like this in it, then it kind of won't give lots of power. So this is where my legs are not straight. And then you kind of land like this, which doesn't really look that good, but it's okay. So notice, just try and straighten your legs like this. All right. Now... If you don't feel comfortable with, like, if you don't feel comfortable with actually landing it or flipping over in the air, well, as you can see, I'm, in, I'm on carpet, but I can do it on the floor too because I had lots of practice. But if you don't feel comfortable doing it on the carpet or the floor, then you can get an air, air track. Now don't worry, air tracks are expensive. So if you don't have an air track, then you can just go on a trampoline. If you don't have an air, if you don't have trampoline, then try doing it on the grass. Fluffy, fluffy grass. If you don't have any of the, that, cause grass is a bit too hard, then maybe you can try doing it with a coach. Or if your mum or dad or older siblings know how to do it, then maybe they can they can spot you doing it. So they can just stand here like this, making sure you're okay. And if you don't drop, I'll go and get my air track. So this is my air track. It's pretty bouncy. And yeah, so if you fall and hit your head, then it won't really matter, but at least it's just a soft surface. So you'll feel more comfortable doing it on. So, oh, hey, there's Amber. Maybe she can do a bit of explaining too. Well, as I was saying, if you hit your head on the air track, then it won't really matter because it's really soft. So just like this, and say if you just did this, um, it won't, well, it might hurt a bit, but it's a soft surface. So you might not want to blow your air track up too much or it will be hard. Yeah. Ours is not blown up too much, so it's a bit squishy, which is good. All right, moving on. All right, so some tips that you shouldn't do if you're a beginner. So if you're a beginner, as I said, don't do it on the carpet. Well, you, you can do it on the carpet, but it might just be a bit risky because you might fall and hurt yourself if it's your first time. So yeah, like I said, do it on the air track or a trampoline or something that's squishy. So yeah, don't do it on really hard grounds because you could hit your head if you don't really know how to do it yet. Also, don't forget there is other tutorials out there and you can watch them too. But I hope my tutorial helped and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.